looking now at the fertilize, as you can see, we've got uh, fertilize coming out the back of the row. We actually didn't run the fertilize colders that we used to run before. We ran the John Deere colder. It was a good system uh, for doing our two by two. Uh, we actually, Don is going to be coming out with a fertilized cooler that's going to replace that. We don't, I, I'm not a big fan of the Martin um, Yetter cells and Don actually sells the fertilized cooler that goes underneath the toolbar. It ties up uh, my row cleaner and what as far as I can do on row cleaners. So our goal is to eventually we're going to try uh, the Don fertilized colder up front. So this year instead of, this is a brand new planter like we said, uh, instead of investing in the 16 of the John Deere colders, uh, we were going to try the, the Dawn one beta tested. That didn't work out. So we actually were forced to try the totally tubular design. And to be honest, for something that costs 35 bucks to put on the row, we've had really great luck with just going out the back. Now, this year was a lot different than, than previous years, and I don't know if it would work as well. Um, a year like last year when we put all that nitrogen on, you've got to have that rain to get it down into the, to the seed to be able to get it. Um, on a dry year, maybe it won't work as well, but it's one of those things that we tried this year and had really good luck. We ran um, 16 gallons was the, pretty much the flat rate across the farm, and then uh, we actually stepped it up to 20 to 21 gallons, and some spots is coming right out the back. Um, I've got a Y right before the tube, so it splits it and goes right down on top of the row. Uh, 